Mm-hmm. We also have a Mugombero. <laughs> they are famous for Mugombero. If you're Ugandan, you know Omulondwa. Those roots that are sold for, I'm told they are an aphrodisiac and whatever, whatever, yeah. Oh, that one, finally, they have an airstrip. If you want to travel to Kakamega, you can fly to I Kakamega. By Kakamega, you will enjoy. Like, Kakamega is beautiful. Don't uh, hesitate to go there. And <laughs> Auko, Kakamega. And practice the Swahili, by the way. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. My name is Price and I am the Kakamega Girl. <laughs> the Ghanaian sisters are represented. The Kakamega Girl is come, is finally coming to Kakamega. So hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video if you like me please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel i don't turn don't forget to turn on that bell so that you get to know anytime that i'll be uploading i'm your kakamega girl and i'm back with another video so today i recently released the video that i'm soon coming to kakamega and i got comments like yeah when i come into nairobi pass by nairobi where are you going from kakamega where will you tell them to so don't forget to subscribe if you want to know where I'll be going from Kakamega. How am I coming to Nairobi? If you want to know where I'll be heading, subscribe to my YouTube channel and please keep on watching my videos and giving me thumbs ups. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today I'm going to be finding out places in Kakamega. Do I just go to Kakamega and stand on the streets? Do I just go to Kakamega and look? Just look around. What's in Kakamega? What's interesting about Kakamega? We are about to dissect Kakamega and know where, when you're in Kakamega. What are those nice places that you should visit? For me, I have not been in Kenya, I have not been in Kakamega. So, I only know two names. I don't even know whether they are places. They are just names. The Crying Stone. There is a crying stone in Kakamega. You want to know whether it is real crying or their eyes. You want to know if it's crying tears. You want to know if it's crying blood. I want to take you to the crying stone. And then we will not be talking about whether it's a lie or not. I'll have to show you that crying stone. So guys, if you don't know how a crying stone looks like, if you have never uh, seen a crying stone, I got you. The Kakamega girl is coming anytime. The Kakamega rainforest which has these trees it has roots rich roots which have become so big and then you know those are things that you read about that you have never seen so i'm going to bring them live to you so other places i'm going to google them right now and i also bring them to you i didn't know about those are the only two things that i know about kakamega what do you know about kakamega what where should we go when we reach in kakamega so I let me Google and come up with more places and I will get back to you. Don't go away. Just come from Google. There is a lot of things that you can, a lot of places they can visit. I just came from Google. What's wrong with this English? I just came from Google and I Googled a few things. There is a lot, a lot of places that you can visit while in Kakamega. It's not only about the crying stone and the Kakamega forest. There is a lot, a lot of things the falls the islands the mining places the trade centers the stadiums it's a lot so why what stops you from coming to kakamega everybody's going to nairobi guys let's go to kakamega <laughs> everybody's going to nairobi 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 who's going to kakamega with you with me <laughs> Who is going to Kakamega with me? Are there YouTubers in Kakamega? Or oh, am I going to be the only one there? Hey, <laughs> if you're a YouTuber and you're in Kakamega, comment on this video. We have to tell people to come to Kakamega. Not everybody running to uh, these famous places, Nairobi, Kisumu. There's another place I've forgotten, Mombasa, many places, but this time it's Kakamega. No way, we are going to Kakamega. There's another forest. There's another forest. So, where has it gone? Malava, Malava Forest. 
yeah pottery center if you know how to make pots use pottery for decoration yes 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 kaka mega kaka mega <laughs> we go we go yeah guys kaka mega okay this time it's kaka mega you don't like it you like it this time it's for kaka mega i did it on the google i also went ahead to ask a ugandan friend who once lived around there to give us more about kakamega <laughs> she's now a lawyer in kenya practicing law and you hear her accent she has even become a kenya now she will say by the by the <laughs> ah, so she had to let you i called her and uh, Let's start to also tell me something like where can I go? What's there? Which places must I not miss? And she had she had a lot actually, a lot of places that she told me about. And I said I'll share them with you. Listen to her. She's an amazing lawyer. If you have any business, you can contact her. She has a YouTube channel. She's damn malicious. I will tag her on this video. You can follow her. She's a Uganda who is now in Kenya. Hi everyone, how you doing? My name is the Momolicious and I am on It's Prizes show today to talk about something. <laughs> I'm here to talk about Kakamega. You know, It's Prize is obsessed with Kakamega and I want to tell you guys the things I know about Kakamega that you can go see there. First of all, Kakamega is famous for the crying stone. I don't know why it's crying, but there's a crying stone over there. Like the water is coming out over rock. And then they also have, um, they're also famous for uh, Muliro University, by the way. Is it called? Masinde Muliro University. Yeah, I'm told Masinde Muliro is a politician, a very famous politician in Zeza, in Zeza, in Zeza Kenya. <laughs> also, they have the Masinde Muliro Gardens, always green, a beautiful, beautiful place. I have been there before and it's really lovely. They also have a golf course. The Kakamega golf course is so amazing. It is so green, like so green. Price, go see the Kakamega golf course. Something else that they are, but by the way, this was, should have been the first point. It is the home for the Luya tribe. Eh? <laughs> the Luya tribe in Kenya, they come from the Western Kenya. That is partly Kakamega. Kakamega. Mm -hmm. We also have a, Mugombero. <laughs> they are famous for Mugombero. If you're Ugandan, you know Omulondwa. Those roots that are sold for, I'm told they are an aphrodisiac and whatever, whatever, yeah. That one, you know, it's Omulondwa. <laughs> In Uganda, there's a bus park where it's sold by, what is his name? Kamwani. Kamwani, the Toro guy who sells a lot of coffee and Omurondo. You know that one. They're also famous with avocados. There's a lot of avocados that come from there. And when I visited the Kakamega a few years ago, there was um, a, a lot of um, mm -hmm. Ugandan food by there. There's a restaurant with Ugandan food, amazing food. They also have, let me see, the Kakamega forest. It's very famous. I don't know what they do there, but it's very green, very amazing. And then what else? The Boda Bodas have their own land. <laughs> like they don't mix with the rest of the drivers and whatever. Boda Bodas, their own land. What else? Oh, finally, they have an airstrip. If you want to travel to Kakamega, you can fly to Kakamega, by the way. You no longer have to land in Kisumu. You can fly from Wilson Airport to Kakamega Airstrip. And then um, they also have, <laughs> finally, the, the chicken with the yellow legs. Have you ever seen them? The Luya chicken with the yellow legs found in Kakamega Prize. When you go to Kakamega, you will enjoy. Like, Kakamega is beautiful. Don't uh, hesitate to go there. <laughs> and Auko, Kakamega. And practice the Swahili, by the way. Continue practicing. Kakamega, let's go, let's go, let's go!